everybody, how you doing? Father Bob in my backyard, the Perry's house backyard. Beautiful day, I love September. Clear skies. I'm not even cold. I mean, because I get cold easy. It's beautiful, actually. Um, with my dog Arlo, you know, with September, uh, a great summer, now history. We're looking to the school year. Uh, a couple changes coming up. I'll tell you about the uh, weekend masses. We're still going to have three of them. We've had two outdoors, one indoors. For the summer months, we picked the two coolest times uh, temperature-wise for the outdoor mass, which happened to be 8.45, 10.45. Checked with uh, my good friend Paul Douglas, the weather guy, to see what is the warmest two times of the year or with the three masses, which are the, would be the time of the day that would be most warm. And actually, I didn't talk to Paul. I just kind of figured this out of myself. The warmest would be 1045 and 5 p.m. Probably coolest, 845. So starting uh, September 12th, the 5 o'clock mass will be the outdoor mass. Indoor mass live stream will be moved to 845, 1045 still out in the parking lot. Just a little bit about the parking lot mass. It's, um, it's wonderful because people have so many options. We have some people that stay in their cars. So we've got live stream. Then we've got the outdoor mass with some people remaining in their cars. The sound system is wonderful. You can hear. And then it's kind of the lawn chair mass that people bring their lawn chairs and park it under the shade or now in the sun to stay warmer in the fall. And uh, that's what we do. It's worked out good. And a little reminder, we always say love your neighbor at six feet. If you're closer, wear a mask, including going up for communion. And if you can keep that six feet distancing, that's indoor mask, outdoor mask, doesn't make any difference. We're trying to make it as, as uh, safe and as comfortable as we can for everyone as they come back uh, to mass in these COVID times. So a little bit about, uh, I'm excited about the outdoor mass. We're getting a lot of people, new people every week. So if you haven't come, if you want to give it a try, see if it works for you, give it a shot. Love to have you. Also with uh, the fall season coming up, we have our some of our programming, our ministries are kicking in gear again, including faith formation for children and youth. And a lot of work has been uh, put together by the Faith Formation team to make the environment as safe as possible and yet as engaging as is possible. And uh, some things I thought really creative that the team came up with. And I have here with us today St. Victoria's Director of Faith Formation for Children, Youth, and Adults, Emily Klinker. Emily, welcome. Hi, Father. Thank you for coming. Emily, tell us a little bit of the uh, special measures that uh, the Faith Formation team has come up with to make the environment as safe, safe as possible for this fall, coming back to Faith Formation. Sure. Well, we are super excited. We have spent the summer, Sarah and Theo and I have spent the summer um, getting ready to welcome everybody back. And one of the big changes we've made is that we are moving half of our um, faith formation population to Sundays. Okay. And so we have um, a couple of different sessions on Sundays. So families can choose an earlier afternoon or an evening, depending on the age level. K-5 can come um, afternoon or evening, choose an A session or a B session. And they'll come once a month and they'll come with their parents. So we're gonna do some parent stuff each month and it'll be amazing. We are super excited, but that helps us keep the numbers down. And then middle school will come twice a month on opposite Sundays in the evening, um, once with their parents, once without, and we'll have the high schoolers involved like we have had in the past, but we'll, we will continue to maintain the six feet and the safety with them, um, but keep working on that community that is so important. 
Love and then it. confirmation is going to be stay on Wednesdays, but we'll only have one grade a week. So ninth grade will go one week and then 10th grade a week. And we have an online option for all of them as well. So if you are um, a family who is more comfortable staying at home, we have a virtual option as well. And I have lots of safety, other safety measures I can share with you. Should I share with yeah, you all those yeah, other things? Yeah, I know I, I read them over and it was just amazed. There's, there's quite a list, things I'd never think of, but share with the folks what some of those Absolutely. things are. Absolutely, so we had to do a lot of thinking and we looked to see what other schools, other churches, other organizations were doing and we found what we felt was best for St. Victoria and our population while still bringing people together. Because as we know in the Catholic Church, the community is so important. So what we have, um, besides breaking apart and having smaller numbers at each session, um, everybody will wear a mask. Um, we will be cleaning in between each session. We will not be using any shared supplies. Everybody will be asked to bring their own sh supplies. Um, we will also be meeting once a month. And so a lot of the activities and the experience will be um, a family time. Um, our small groups are gonna be in our largest spaces. So we won't be using most of our classrooms this year. Um, we have gone through and physically walked through and mapped out exactly how many students and um, leaders we can have in each classroom. For some of them, we are not doing tables because tables take up more space and we need that space <clears throat> for the physical to keep the people apart. Um, as crazy as that sounds, um, but it. we want to keep everybody safe. Yeah. Um, so we're, we are asking for more TV trays. So if anybody has TV trays at home that they could donate to us, those make perfect little mini desks for our students. So they can keep in their little social bubble, yep. um, but we can still have um, more opportunities. So if anybody has any TV trays or a set of TV trays or would like to donate them, we would love them. Our goal is 40 more TV trays besides what we have here at St. Victoria already that we're using for masks. Um, so no shared supplies, wearing masks. We will have hand sanitizer always available. Um, the catechist will be really, um, um, coached on how to properly wear the mask. Um, we are asking everybody bring their own mask, but if anybody forgets, we will have them. Mm -hmm. We will be having families do temperature checks and um, similar to what the schools are doing before they come. And then for some of the older kids, we will be doing temperature checks as they arrive um, so that we can make sure that we are keeping everybody as safe as possible. We're gonna have one way hallways so you can only go one way. We're gonna have one way entrance and one way exit. When we have our groups meeting in the worship space, it will only be one family per pew or with confirmation, it will be only one small group and they will always have that same area so that we can keep those pods together and keep mm. them as mm. safe as, as we possibly can. Daryl has worked with us on the ventilation. Most of our rooms have windows. Um, that we're going to be using so we can open windows as necessary. All the different things that we've um, really thought through and we're working on. One thing to note, we are not going to be providing childcare. Um, so that is different this year because of the logistics that takes. Beautiful, beautiful. It sounds like um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel that checked in with what schools are doing. And also how we do, I see similarities, how we do weekend liturgies in terms of spacing, cleaning, kind of picked up on some of the, the proven things there. Synthesize that, came up with your program and your, uh, for safety. I, Emily, I have to say I really am appreciative of the hard work that uh, Faith Formation has done to, to do that. And uh, you get together and you come up with a plan and I'm sure there's gonna be a few tweaks as you get into it. Absolutely. We'll learn, but it's all about safety and being community at the same time, I love that. And we're trying to bring those two together and it, it really seems like the plan you've come up with yep. is. The curriculum we've yep. chosen can flip on a moment's notice to go all virtual if necessary. That was really important to us to be able to ebb and flow as COVID ebbs and flows, um, if that's the right language for it. But um, um, we really, like you said, we really wanted to still build on our programming. We think we've got great programming here at St. Victoria. So we didn't want to take away from that, but we need to honor everybody's safety and everybody's comfort levels. So 
the curriculums we have chosen, we are so excited about it. We're actually looking at it as a silver lining, as crazy as that sounds, um, because we wanted to involve families more. And this is our opportunity gotcha. for families to be, um, to experience the faith together as a family. Yeah. And how beautiful is that? That's perfect. I love it. So, I mean, like the elementary program and parents will be coming, it's very interactive. And um, that spills over into the home too. Mm -hmm. You have an interactive faith experience here, teaches them how to do it at home also. Yep. So wonderful. And um, well, Faith Formation is in September. When, when does the program open? Great question. So Confirmation has their first meeting on September 13th. Um, we have a kickoff mass outdoor. We'll be doing it in the parking lot um, on September 27th. Um, and we will have a speaker come. So you will be our presider and we will have great music and great liturgy. And then we will have a speaker for our families afterwards, um, all in the parking lot, all with lawn chairs and socially distant and all of that. Um, and then um, we will start our classes in October. And the calendar is on the website. Registration is on website. Um, and we also have on the website a recording of a Zoom community engagement meeting where we did, where mm. we talked, um, and Sarah, Theo, and I all talked and told a little bit more about the program. So I invite everybody to look at that as well. I don't think you guys have missed a beat here. <laughs> I hope not. We're, that's our goal. That's our goal. But we're ready to be flexible and yeah. change if necessary. And I'm, uh, I'm always amazed at the effectiveness of Zoom, you know. Yeah. And, and maybe that's the, the silver lining of COVID is some of these things we're going to take moving forward because they work. You know? Yeah. They work during COVID. They'd work anytime. But Emily, thanks for being with us. Thanks for the, the work and the Faith Formation team. Thank the others. And we're looking forward to another great Faith Formation season here at St. Victoria, folks. And um, just as we wrap up, uh, just, you know, the thought for the day is humility is not thinking more of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. And um, thought for the day. And finally, the question from the orange hat. This would not be right to close a uh, session here without a question from the hat. And um, Emily, because I know you're not bashful, you know what? <laughs> I'm off the hook this week because you're here. I'm going to have you okay. answer this. Let's see. Um, what person from history would you have enjoyed knowing and why? Wow, there's so many. Um, you know, being the Indiana person that I am and my Purdue background, I'd love to know Amelia Earhart. She was this amazing confident woman who did broke barriers everywhere and i would you know i would love to have a conversation with her beautiful beautiful i thought you were going to say bobby knight but that's way no, off no that's that's indiana university oh, okay that's the opposing right. school that other school <laughs> both from indiana so thank you emily and folks thanks for tuning in on a beautiful day go out and enjoy it enjoy the fall weather now with us early fall weather hope to see you next week god bless and i will say our guest for next week spent time uh as a peace corps worker you'll find out who that is when you tune in next week take care everybody god bless okay folks you know how with a joke you lead up to the punch line and then you blow it <laughs> How lame that is. It's, I do that all the time. Well, I did that with the quote of the day. The thought for the day is not that you think less of yourself, but that you think of yourself less. That's humility. Take care. <laughs>